What's up, Gaming Life Nation? Welcome to GL Live. We're here with Chris and Matt, the masterminds of marketing over at Lenovo Legion, and we are going to talk everything 2020. First off, I just want to send my best wishes out to your friends and family. I know we're all suffering a little bit during this global pandemic. I hope they're all doing well and COVID free. I'd like to rewind a little bit though, back to a time before COVID-19, TwitchCon 2019. I had a chance to speak with Rex Stover and Andy Din of TSM, and they told us all about the Lenovo Legion Lounge, which was to be built at their LA facility. Has there been any progress on that? Are we halted completely? What's the status update on the construction of that facility? Well, well TSM is a great partner for us. Uh, we started working with them over a year ago and you know we've got more things kind of planned over this next year. The lounge is going forward similar to a lot of things due to you know safer at home type of initiatives you know by across the states and local rulings. A lot of the production and build out has you know been delayed. Um, as, as kind of expected on a lot of this stuff. So it is still a go, but you know, they're, they've had a little bit of delay in the, in the rollout of it. And so it's coming, so keep your eyes out for it. Absolutely, we're super excited. Andy Dan gave us a personal invite to come down to the facility once it's complete. So we're hoping it's done soon. Moving forward, I'd like to talk a little bit about your relationship with TSM. How have things evolved due to everything that's happening right now? And what are some of your plans moving forward? Uh, like I said, TSM is a real important partner for us. We we connect with them in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, obviously the lounge is, is a great initiative. We're excited to kind of get kicked off. But, you know, we work with them through, um, you know, some of their online events, you know, being able to kind of connect with them there. We use them actually just as an input into a lot of our devices, right? And being able to give us some feedback on new ideas and technologies as we look at our roadmap to be able to collect feedback from them of guys really pushing systems to their to their limits you know those are that's a great crew to be able to give us some feedback and you know since there's not a lot of live events of course you know we're having to do a lot of things more virtually and that and so we still connect with them through social you know bring them into our community and they're helping to kind of bring us into their community so we can all still have fun with gaming you know still having a great time still be able to you know get some enjoyment but just not necessarily the big live competitions yeah that makes sense we look forward to seeing that facility get built and the TSM Lenovo Legion relationship progress over the years. Y'all both have that Darth Vader, dark sleek style. Moving forward though, we'd like to kind of know how you guys have had to change your plans um, moving into the latter half of 2020. Uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, it, it definitely had an impact. I mean, we would have, you know, events and being able to connect with the community is an important part. And, you know, we do that through, you know, TwitchCon, whether that be uh, TSM and a lot of the tournaments that they're participating in. We're Apex Legends, we're the, you know, Global Series sponsor for that. So, you know, really all those events, you know, taking an impact and even, you know, big kind of technology events, even like IFA that would take place in, in Germany is, is, is a major event of the year. Even that's been kind of canceled. Everybody's still trying to figure out the roadmap for events through the end of the calendar year. Um, and so that's just, you know, you're having to get more, cre you know, get a little bit of think outside of those and to what are other ways we can connect. Uh, definitely we're seeing more and more people online. And so, you know, explosion and, you know, PC sales, explosion in the gamer community is, is a lot of people, you know, picking this up as something to still, you know, have some enjoyment, even though we're all a little bit more uh, constrained on what we may want to do. Yes. Uh, being out of the shows, the conventions, interacting with people, getting feedback, you know, talking one on one. That's one of my personal favorite parts of the job. Moving forward, a lot of companies are implementing different types of marketing strategies because of the effects of COVID-19. Um, what has Legion done and what can you share with us about your marketing plans moving forward in 2020? 
Well, I mean, definitely still, you know, we've, we've leveraged a theme around, you know, stylish on the outside, savage on the inside, because we know that we're, you know, a lot of the feedback we've gotten from the community is just, you know, they want something that looks really great, you know, for all the time. I need it to look great when I want a game. I need it to look great if I'm just using it kind of out and about, you know, for, for other types of activities as well. And so we really try and deliver on that with our products. And so you'll see, we'll be bringing some new campaigns to the market as we uh, get in kind of the second half of this year that I think people will be pretty excited about. Very kind of done some testing with folks and, and they're really responding to it well. Like I said, you know, things with Apex Legends are continuing to kind of blow up and continuing to get more and more attention. And, and so we're excited to be partnering up with them to, uh, to bring things to life. Uh, we are doing a lot of just, you know, what we call the council, which is where we bring together influencers to sit down with us and, you know, once again, give us feedback on our products for the year. And so we do that a couple different times. And so, you know, by doing it virtually, we're actually even able to expand kind of that audience set. Yeah. Um, as opposed to we can only physically bring so many people together for a different, you know, for a live, uh, you know, type of our face to face type of interactions. Right. It's actually allowing us to kind of open some things up. And so that's been uh, really great for us on being able to connect with a lot more people. Yeah, most definitely. We can't sit around and use last year's marketing strategies. You got to be innovative in the COVID-19 era. Um, we've been hearing reports of the next gen consoles having issues with distribution and manufacturing. Has any of this affected Lenovo Legion? Have you guys had any issues manufacturing or distributing your products? Uh, so we're actually running in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, definitely, you know, the the world, is, you, you've seen kind of where there's these blips of, you know, things slowing down of, you know, as one market to the next and it kind of trickles through them. But we've actually, given the diversity of our kind of supply lines, we've actually been able to manage it quite, quite well where we've got uh, production in multiple countries of the world. We got it in US and Mexico for kind of North America. And so that, you know, being able to kind of keep that rhythm going of, of getting out these devices has allowed us to, you know, grow our market share during the first quarter of the year. And we're pretty optimistic uh, as we go into second quarter of the year, they still continue to kind of grow uh, the amount of, you know, market share that we have in the overall PC space where we're kind of number one in the industry, right. but also in that gaming space, we continue to see a lot of you know, gaining a lot of ground there. So we're pretty excited about it. So before we start talking about hardware, all the fun stuff, is there a message Legion wants to send to their fans specifically about the current global pandemic? Well, I mean, definitely our, our heart goes out to everybody during this time. It, it's hard for not only the people that are being infected with it, it's hard on the people trying to help fight it. You know, where a lot of people put in a lot of hours, whether that be first responders, whether that be people doing research around, you know, trying to find a vaccine for this thing. So our heart goes out definitely to everybody in the marketplace on that. Even the even the folks that, hey, aren't impacted by any of that, but are just kind of feel like they're jammed up, you know, at home. But, you know, we're, we're there and, you know, we're there for the gaming community and we want to kind of continue to help enrich that. We want to keep bringing these great devices, whether you're ordering those online and, and getting them shipped to your home or not. You know, we did partner up with the, uh, with a number of kind of industry leaders on an initiative called, you know, Play Apart Together, where, you know, it's working with the WHO and, you know, encouraging people of, hey, let's still play, let's still have some fun, but let's do it apart physically but still do it together as a community right where we're bringing you're having fun we're getting together as groups you know we're we're slaying the uh slaying the dragons if you will and, and having a good time it doesn't mean that everything in the world has to come to a complete halt we can still have a lot of fun and let's work together and and you know let's let's talk to each other during this time and stay social and the more social we are it builds a greater community matt Thank you so much for that wonderful message. It's my belief in these hard times, gamification is the ultimate socialization. So we're hope Legion's able to continue to put out their products so we can continue to get online. Um, we're gonna get into products here in a second. First, I kind of like to deliver my ultimate compliment. My love for the Legion brand comes from the design, the Darth Vader stealth-like design that Legion portrays. I love it. Please say it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. We took a lot of time to talk with a lot of gamers because we as a group were like, you know what? That kind of look, that kind of vibe, we need to have something that feels authentic, feels something like you want to take it out. You want to go, you know, wherever you want in the world uh, and have fun with it. So we decided to kind of pivot and focus more on the design, right? Minimal, clean, sleek, stylish. Um, and that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yes, Darth Vader would approve. 
Um, so AMD and Intel have been going at it in the war of the processors for a few years now. I believe AMD has had the upper hand. Um, you guys have Intel all over all your marketing and advertising. I know you do have AMD SKUs. However, what is your choice to kind of stick with Intel as your front runner um, through these hard times that they've been going through? So um, we, of course, are offering the latest generation Intel chips on all of our PCs. That's great. Uh, we know some people love AMD as well. That's totally fine. Um, again, whatever kind of fits your play style, um, Legion can support it. Nice and flexible. Again, we know we know people like to, to have the choice. That's awesome. You'll love to hear it. So PlayStation 5 next gen console comes out this year. It'll have DDR5. Does Legion plan to release any models with DDR5 memory on board? At this stage, it's not on. It's not on the slate, but stay tuned. You heard the man. Stay tuned. Don't put words in his mouth, but you can put them in mine. I'm willing to bet DDR5 for Legion products is right around the corner. Let's talk about one of my favorite products, the Boost Station eGPU, a portable enclosure that houses a graphic card and a solid state hard drive you can take with you on the road, basically power in your backpack. Can you tell us more about this product? Yeah, absolutely. So like <laughs> with that, I wanted to I want to I want to do a little story because I know sure. that you live in Vegas, right? So um, every year when we go out to CES, I have to help kind of set up all the gaming machines. And it's 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 a big thing. You got the monitor, you got the keyboard, you got everything right. The battle station. Uh, and so I set up four of these and it took maybe five minutes. <laughs> it was the <laughs> setup I've ever had. And you got full um, power. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Right. It's absolutely amazing. So. Uh, it's an eGPU housing. You toss the uh, graphics card inside. It also has a spot basically for an SSD. So if you want to have your gaming library kind of sit on this box, go for it. Then you just take your Thunderbolt 3, plug that in, connect it to your laptop, and boom, you've got full tower performance. You can also kind of, it has full, you know, I.O. on the back. So if you want to have all your peripherals plugged in there, so when you come home, put it down your battle station, plug it in with one cord, you're off to the races. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, the boost station sounds pretty gas. I'm not going to lie. Let me ask you, is there a performance loss from the graphics card not actually being plugged in to a PCI slot on the motherboard? Yeah, so that's one of the things that was really cool. So normally, the thinner I go, like I have to kind of look out for heat, right? So what you'll find is that a lot of people when they go very thin, they maybe will switch to a U processor, which is great. It's awesome. Really good for mobility. Mm -hmm. But when you connect that to an eGPU, there's a little bit of a power drop off. So our solution in-house was, well, let's make sure that we stick with gaming performance when it comes to CPUs. So you'll find each series processors. Connect that to the eGPU, you have a fantastic uh, performance. You don't need to worry about much of a drop off. And it's, it's quite impressive, actually. All right, so let's talk monitors. We could go into megahertz and curved displays and resolution and all these different technical specs. There's so many brands out there. I think the bottom line is what separates Legion from the rest of the playing field? Yeah, so actually one of the really cool things, um, we are the global partner for Apex Legends Global Series we were talking about before. Yep. Uh, and what's amazing about that is that we have, obviously our towers are a part of that, but our monitors are also a part of that. So what you're going to find is that we have uh, a lot of monitors that specialize in esports, right? So you're going to find either that 25 inch or 27 inch sweet spot, super high refresh rate, awesome color clarity, as well as very low response rate, which is perfect for, you know, clicking heads and doing all sorts of cool stuff in an FPS, right? right. So. Um, Really, really proud of it. It's a lot of fun. You can also kind of get the edge on competition. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. Now that sounds like a winning formula for a monitor, especially an eSports monitor. Let's talk about peripherals a little bit. Some companies are just way overpriced these days. I mean, you could find a mouse for like $150. Just insane. Legion now has quality products at great price points. How are you guys able to maintain this? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but uh, the big thing at Lenovo, especially on the product side, right? We have this thing that we call the Goldilocks effect, right? So we don't do something until it's like just right. So especially with our mice, um, we took a lot of time to focus on the experience. So you'll find even with some of the offerings that we have, right? Uh, I'm right-handed, that's great. A lot of people are left-handed. So we started from there. Okay, can we design a mouse that's perfect for everybody, right? And be dexterous, really good latency, all that fun stuff. And so all that time of, of tuning it, making sure it's efficient, making sure it works, making sure it's like awesome performance. That goes into every product. So it's always about the value. And uh, we're, we're super stoked that we're able to kind of pass that along to customers and, and have them enjoy that experience. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I don't want to take too much more of your time up. However, I have to ask this question for our staff, for our fans. Is there anything you can share with us? Top secret, any projects you're working on, something in the pipeline way ahead? What can you share with us? Throw us a bone. Well, I mean, we're, you know, always, always got something cooking. I can tell you that much of, you know, definitely 
uh, you know, we're number one in the industry because of, for a reason. And a lot of times that's because we got a lot of great innovation that's that's always being worked. And so, uh, you know, there, there's definitely more tech coming. It's going to keep getting better and better. But, you know, don't don't hold back today that, you know, you want to win today. Right. I don't want to wait to win tomorrow. So, go out and, <laughs> you know, make sure you get your top device. Uh, you know, make sure you uh, look for those Lenovo devices that we think are kind of, you know, have that uh, stylish and savage, you know, mantra. And, uh, you know, look out for our campaign that'll be coming out. Like I said, as we get into the uh, midsummer, you're going to start seeing some great new stuff that hopefully will catch a lot of people's eye and really showcase, you know, some of these great new uh, Lenovo Legion devices. We got that 7 Series one is just, you know, is, is a real beauty. And so, uh, you know, keep your eyes out to see some of the cool stuff we're going to be bringing to probably catch your attention. Gaming Life Nation, you guys just heard it from the great ones. The masterminds of marketing over at Lenovo Legion. Stylish on the outside, savage on the inside. Win today, people. Look out for that big marketing campaign coming up in summer 2020. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And we hope to have you guys on again soon. Sounds great.